It was supposed okay. to be a heart. It was supposed to be a. <laughs> but we're <laughs> on the suit. <laughs> It was after two flaws, so I guess we Yo, might have messed up. Yeah, a we bit. made that before. It was like, oh, if we go one, two, we should do a little. And we both were like, what do you think? And we had both held this we up both at the same time. time. So we're like, All right, yeah, that's it. <laughs> do you guys finish every set like that too? No, oh, no, no oh, not, not even God. close. <laughs> um, there was one time at practice, I was Nick was going in front of me. I'm like, let's go, Nick, and I grabbed his oh, head. Oh, I was not, in a bad mood. Think, yeah, he was already upset about however the practice was going mm -hmm. or something else. I think he almost punched me. He was like, dude, I almost killed you there. Yeah, I've been there. So I didn't, I didn't do it. I don't, I don't do that again. I just bring it up <laughs> as a joke now. It's still funny. Not for me. What, what, would, what would he have to do to your post race for you to actually punch him? Ooh. Me? Yeah. What would I have to do to you for you to punch me after two fights? I don't know. Um, probably punch me first. And then I'll just punch you back. What if I like hopped over the land and sort of like pushing oh, you down? Oh yeah, I would just pull you down under and just yeah. start strangling you. You don't have you don't have energy to fight back That's after true. a race. That's true. So whoever strikes first, I would first, just be like whatever. First blood wins there. Whatever, just move on. <laughs> well, Nick, you had to one up your sister. I Do know. You think you they choose to fail. No, not at all. She's the star of the fam now. Um, but I, I did want that for her a little bit, just because we've been roommates this meet, and uh, she's just been on fire all year, and I was just like, man, I need it for the fam, need it for her, so I was happy to, to get it done. This is awkward, because he's like right here. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. <laughs> you go like this all the time. Did you call her your roommate growing up, too? No. <laughs> we just usually room together at like meets in the summer, mm -hmm. just because like, as a family growing up, and I hadn't gotten to that in a long time. And then this meet, we had the opportunity to, and I was like, yes. So we make each other laugh all the time, and it's a good time. How did you feel about that time? It was shocking to me, honestly. I, but this is both of our first meet back in seven months. Mm -hmm. So I really just had no expectations other than to just try to finish the race. Um, and then I was happy with this morning's time, and I was hoping to get in 157, and I was happy with 156, almost 155, which is my best time, so. And you were happy, happy I didn't run you down there at the end? Yes. Which I was, yes. Very happy. <laughs> so yesterday you said you wanted to go the other direction and go 51.5. Yeah. Then went, and then it went the wrong Ooh. direction. But, um, but also, you just got some good news getting called up to Short Course World. So kind of, what, what do you take away from this meet? It's just like, kind of changes. It's like, not, I'm not in off season now. It's going to take like a day or two and then get ready for training trip, which is like the butt whoopings of butt whoopings which Nick's going to, so I was like, dude, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm leaving you mm -hmm. hanging here. Because all of our other pros are staying and work jobs, so it's just gonna be Nick me. down the fort. <laughs> I feel bad sending them down there alone. Those sets are not, who, you don't do those by yourself. But it's like, now I'm like, I ship out in 48 hours or something like that, so it's just like, turn, burn, go grab my snacks, and <laughs> I'm gonna show up and not know like, what day, I don't even know when the meet starts, I don't know what day I race, I'm like, I don't, I don't really care about that. I figured people, I have people that will tell me that. So I'm just worried about getting on the plane and you know, everything else after that will handle itself. Where do you guys think that you rank in best 200 fly training duos of all time? <gasps> of all time? Mm -hmm. Well, Phelps and Kalish is one, right? Like who are the other, who are we going up against? Phelps and Kalish is solid. Um, mm -hmm. Is there another Cal? Trenton and someone else? Tom and Trenton? Oh. The other Cal guy, but I don't know if they train together. Uh, Jet. Yeah, I don't know if they train together because uh, Trenton is not Mission. So I'd I don't say know if they have a overlap. I would say we're up we're there. top two. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can only think of one other one. Yeah, only, yeah cause Phelps and maybe Kalish someone else can let us know. If they I do know some research. Based off of what I've heard Kalish talk about of his relationship with Phelps, is there. Phelps taught him all, a bunch of stuff that he's now teaching everybody else, which is great. Um, but we're kind of like at the same kind of level. I'm only a little bit ahead versus I think the age difference there was a little bit more. So I'm going to say we're second to them. Yeah. Keep going. Sure. Killing it. <laughs>